biggest advantage is, I think, is the safety. What we don't have randomized trials to compare this technique to heparin only, except this, this smaller Ultima trial. We don't have a comparison to systemic thrombolysis in terms of randomized trials. I think we will never have this, uh, at least not compared to systemic thrombolysis. But what we do know is we have indirect evidence, which is the number of bleeding complications from systemic thrombolysis, where we know we have up to six, 10% of major bleeding, non-intracranial bleeding, and up to 3% of intracranial bleeding complications when we use approved regimens of TPA, which is usually 100 milligrams over two hours, in patients with PE. So uh, for me, it's quite clear, and also it's according to the guidelines that we don't routinely use systemic thrombolysis for PE patients who are not in shock anymore. Um, what we have learned from the evidence from the ECHOS, and I think we have now data from almost 1,000 patients out, um, that the safety is, appears to be much better. Uh, again, not randomized, but what we see is major bleeding of 2 to 3 percent in the data we have, and we have extremely few intracranial bleedings. We have, I think, one or two um, pu are published out of almost 1,000 patients. So this is clearly less than the 3 percent we see with the thrombolysis. So the patency rate is, uh, the primary patency uh, is above 80 percent and the uh, assisted primary and the secondary patency are above 90 percent, which is brilliant. And regarding the Villalto scale, we could show that the successful treatment uh, part of the group, which is above 90 patients, 92 patients, uh, they, um, uh, in this group, only 80% uh, above 80% were had the freedom of PTS, and comparing it with the patients group of in uh, non-successful treatment, which consists of 14 patients only, they developed a significant higher uh, number PTS. So this shows me a real successful treatment tool. I think the biggest advantage is to lyse the entire thrombus from the femoroiliac tract, from the proximal femoroiliac tract, again, which is above the ostium of deep femoral vein. So this is the big advantage of this technique. Millions are suffering chronic temp of deep vein thrombosis all over the world and most of the patients have non-healing venous wants and hyperpigmentation, very bad quality of life and venous uh, claudication and they are really suffering and patients often told, told that there is nothing we can do about it, we just have to live with it. Uh, but I think we have some good solutions for this kind of treatment because uh, in our treatment pr protocol uh, we get very good results with ECOS. Our ulcer healing rates and patencies are very well. Uh, we use ECOS catheter for this chronic clot uh, just for softening effect and we use TPA also just preventing acute thrombus inside of the vein. And uh, we believe that if you keep open the vein at least six months the ulcers are healed. And we're just trying to this uh, for this kind of uh, patient because they have no solution. They went a lot of doctors, they've tried a lot of treatment options, but they have no solutions right now, especially for the chronic FEMPOP disease treatment. Access PTS uh, protocol, it really works. And we, we feel that in our daily practice because in my country we have 100,000 chronic deep vein thrombosis patients suffer from this kind of ulcers and low quality of life. We started two years ago with Access PTS trial and this kind of treatment options for chronic FAMPOP DVT. And what we saw that if, if we keep open that veins, the patient's quality of life will be very, very great and higher.